What we're going to talk about today is the new touchscreen controls on the AIT fabric measuring and inspecting machines. So you're looking at the home page that comes up when you turn the equipment on. Uh, once you get to this page, you push next and you come up to this main screen. And I'm going to try to just go through the top level features today on uh, how everything works here. Um, fundamentally you have a start uh, and you have also a lighting section so this represents the bottom light you can kind of see that coming on you got two levels that's a an on and an extra bright so you can activate those I'll turn them back off and you can see also you have a top light there so you can run with backlight backlight dim backlight bright, top and backlight, all those different choices. Um, here in this section, this is your ability to uh, control or manipulate the edge guide. So if you simply want to swing the edge guide, you can hear that at least going back and forth. You can bump it back and forth as you're setting things up. Or you can use this button to re reset it all together. Swing this back over. Now, the other things that you see here are a settings button. So you push this and you come to this next screen. Note the uh, home here. At any time you can push that button, you go back to the home screen. So settings again. Here we've got the choices of rewinding or unwinding from the back rollers uh, off the top or off the back. It's just a touch screen and you change it back and forth. Same thing on the front. You can wind to the top with the face on the outside of the roll or switch that to go otherwise here. So this is where all those settings are. And this is a main, you know, edge guide alignment on or off button here. We'll go into some more detail on this screen on a later video, but for now we go back to the home page. And the other thing that you'll see here is a counter. So we've got, we're counting the actual uh, length of the fabric. In this case, we put in a preset. So we wanted to stop at, uh, let's say on this roll, stop at 25. Then we can enter that and the machine will stop at 25 uh, by itself. You can reset the, uh, reset from here, uh, etc and uh, then we want to concentrate for a moment on this section. This is a new feature that we've added and this is a ongoing report that can be generated. So we've named each one of these flaws within a fabric and as you're running along you're able to touch that and when you do the tear notion it puts a note over here on the fabric at that particular yardage. Of course, I pushed it when it was zero. But you can see previously here, we've marked this roll with narrow or a missing pick line or a small hole, dirty spot, etc. You can do that while it's running, and this becomes a report that is housed on the attached thumb drive that you see here. And then from there, uh, stored on the thumb drive is a text file. Here's a sample of a report that gets printed out. The time where you ran it, uh, the name of the roll, the different faults that were found, and the total length of the roll of the fabric. So it's a, a report that's generated on the thumb drive. So those are the top level features on the new touchscreen controls of the AIT measuring and inspecting equipment.